Hi all, Graham here, and here is another uploaded game of Saga. Playing Wayne at Ready War Games Club. We're playing out of the Age of Alexander. We're playing a five point, five turn Clash of Warlords game. Nice and simple. Neither of us have played these boards before, so we wanted to have a look at them. Here's my build. I've gone for the Asian variant with the Divite Ambition option. And here's Wayne's Frations. Interestingly, he's gone quite heavy javelin and not rompfure, heavier weapon option. Before the game began, we reviewed both factions, our thoughts on them, on how we thought they might play. Um, the game itself is a tad one-sided, and which you'll see, but it's okay. And at the end of the game, we'll review both factions and how we thought they played and what we could do with them. As always, uh, please view, feedback, your thoughts on the factions and how we played it. Did we do anything wrong? Please point it out. We, we really don't mind. Here's the battlefield. Um, fairly standard set, really. And we and here's our deployment from the side view as well. Anyway, hope you enjoy it. Let's see what happens. Good evening, Wayne. Good evening, Graham, and good evening, viewers. What a pleasure to be back on the channel at uh, so early an opportunity. Yes, yeah, still licking my wounds from last week's kicking. Well, I sense that's why I've been invited back, so you can exact some form of retribution, yeah, which I is thought... why you've given me the Thracians. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, it's a good plan, but I, I, looking at the battle board, I, it might be a mistake. I should have given you one of the Greek city-states, which is a little unfair, but um, hey-ho. So. What, what I thought we'd do very quickly is we'll just have a quick chat about these two factions because they're little known, little played, um, certainly by, I've, I've never played the successors or even seen the Thracians played apart from on the activation phase where I think Monty used them once and I think he got his ass kicked by um, Tim I think. But um, okay, so with the successors, um, you have one, two, three variants you can choose. Greek, Asian, or Egyptian. Um, there are core figures you're allowed to use. They're the half and guards, warriors with sarissas, and warriors with javelins. But the sub-factions, if you like, um, they give you the opportunity to have certain things. For instance, the, the Greeks are a fairly standard build, but they allow you to have the warriors to have heavy weapons, which is interesting. Or you can, the half and guard can have sarissas. The Asians, um, they are a little bit of a more of a, a Persian feel to them, I would suggest. And here you can have cataphracts. Was that cataphracts? Cataphracts? Cataphracts is something you have in your eye, isn't it, I believe? Yeah. <laughs> um, elephants, side chariots, and levy with bow, which is interesting. And the third variant is Egyptian. Um, and these ones uh, allow you to have levy uh, sarissa. So you can have a unit of 12. That's interesting. Wow, I should have looked at that. You can have a unit of uh, 12 levy sarissa and you can have two units of those. Um, today, I've chosen to go for the um, Asian variant. And the reason why is because I want to use my elephant. Now, the elephant is not a standard elephant. Wayne rolls his eyes um, because it's got an ability called Elephantine Armour. And unlike normal elephants, it moves SS. So it doesn't go M and then S. Um, but it has improved armour um, for shooting. So it's, his armour is five. And that's about it, really. So that's what we use. Also, once you've chosen your um, faction, um, there's a thing called ambition. And there are three types of ambition you can use for your faction. Um, the top one, is, not top one, there's one called leg legatum, one called hubris, and one called divite. Um, and each of them, for want of a better word, pimp an existing advanced advanced saga ability on the board. I'm choosing today to use Divite, and Divite is this is uh, heavy armor, Hegumi, and Pantodapoi, I think. 
and it gives you a slight increase. For instance, the um, heavy armor, the divite will give you an additional two defense dice. And that's basically a successor. So I'm choosing today to play um, Asian with uh, divite as my ability. Okay, so that's successors quite quickly. Wayne, tell me about the Thracians. So, um, several abilities on the Thracian board refer to pillage markers. A, a Thracian unit that wins a melee and uh, inflicts at least one casualty receives uh, a pillage marker once the combat's been resolved. You can never have more than uh, one pillage marker at a time and you don't get a pillage marker after fighting against levies. So um, the warlord has an ability called authority of the priest kings and what that allows him to do is instead of activating a unit with his we obey ability he can instead add a pillage marker to a unit or remove a pillage marker if they have one so, so that's that um i've not played the thracians at all not really seen the board so here, here comes the disclaimer that be, i expected uh, five I minutes ago i apologize in advance <laughs> to uh thracian players um, well, if I don't get the most out of them. I am sure you will, Wayne, because uh, I'm sure I'll be very accommodating. Okay, so that's the introdu introduction to the two factions. We'll uh, roll the dice and we'll see what happens next. Okay, so as you can see from the... Um, I rolled six dice, three common, three uncommon, as I showed earlier. Um, Wayne's played, he's placed his three dice on the board. I used um, Alexander's Heirs, top right, which is a saga ability, but not an advanced saga ability. I used it twice to convert two inactive dice into rares. That's why I've only got four dice on my board. So I rolled six, lost two, but upgraded two to sixes. Um, so that's it really. So, time to play. So I'm first of all going to play, I'm going to do a manoeuvre with my companions. They're going to come over to here. So they're like that. I'm then going to use Hegemi. Uh, and it says activate up to two units. But because it's um, a Devite one, I activate an additional unit. So I activate up to three units. One of these must be Phalanx. Well, two of them will be. The first of these activations does not give a fatigue. Well, it's kind of irrelevant because... Did you sit back? There you have. So I only move S. So here we go. One. Uh, days. And the half and guard are going to go this way, like that. Right, so you should have moved those first. Sir. Sorry? You should have moved those first. With this ability? Because uh, then they wouldn't get the fatigue. Oh yes, that's true, yeah, quite right. Thank yeah, you, Wayne. So I assume they moved first. Yep, thank you for that. And... My Warlord is going to advance the Ellie, which also moves S, and advance himself like that. Uh, these guys can do a manoeuvre as well, so there's no point not. So they'll move up to or just outside of L. And that is all I've got, Wayne. So you've rolled... Oh, no rares. Hot diggity. Get all those comments. <laughs> so it begins. Okay, so it's Wayne's first turn. Um, his dice were placed. Um, I had an orders reaction on Strategos, Strategos, um, which allowed me to take, to roll two of my available saga dice. So I did, 
and I placed them on the heavies and on provocation. I've still got a dice left on elite, which is my error, and I know I left that from last turn. I think that's about it. One final thing I would say is obviously, if you look at the figures, we are proxying a few here. <laughs> so they aren't quite Thracian looking, but for the purposes of the game, I think it worked fine. Right then, Wayne, go on then, show me the magic. Okay, so we'll start by activating the levy archers. Yeah. And they're going to shoot this uh, phalanx here. You have six dice. Oh, and I'm going to activate orders reaction. I'm going to use provocation now. I should have pointed that out. I do apologise. And it's going to be on that unit there. I'm going to pass. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to add anything. Average. Ooh, first blood. Oh, <laughs> just the three. And so it begins. It's like last week all over again, isn't it? One, two, three. Is that still a phalanx? It's just it is, clinging on it? to its phalanxness. Oh, I'll have to shoot I've, at it again. Yeah, with your warlord. Yeah, well, we obey. Could uh, spend some of your defence dice. Yep, I'm going to do that now. So I'm going to use heavy armour with a rare. Um, it gives me four defence dice. One, two, three, four. And I get an additional two. So I get six. Just the one. What a is waste. That, is that heavy armour? Wow. So oh, they, with ease. Should have done it the other way around. I didn't know. That's the dice for you, isn't it? That's the dice. Uh, anyway, anyway flush, flush that out, which is good. Yeah, well done. I'm going to use Insatiable. Activate up to two units without pillage markers. Okay. So it'll be that unit and that unit. So these boys first. I'll come and. Uh... <laughs> These are javelin arms, aren't they? Yeah. All in range. So, get their free shots. So, what are you defending on? Fours, yeah? I uh, know. So, what are you. Fours. Fours? They're just normal companions, aren't they? Okay, I'm going to play elusive. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not going to play elusive, sorry. I'm going to put one in from the combat bonus. You got anything? You know I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> You're rubbing the salt in my... Yeah, that's why you made me use my heavy armour early, do you remember? Okay, so fours. Oh, Four. Five. You just about to vaporise my unit. I hate to be negative. You'll be alright with that, all that heavy armour. Oh. Oh, just a three. Just a three. <laughs> I'm actually weeping now. So that's my half and guard unit immobilised. And that's a free shot, isn't it? Yeah. It doesn't generate. No. It uh, doesn't count towards fatigue. So I have to do this unit now, don't I? You do. I mean, that's the question, actually. We've had this discussion before. Should you have shot after you've moved that second unit? Uh, I th think, th think so. It doesn't think? matter. It doesn't matter. But I know we've had this, this uh, discussion point before, haven't we? It's a timing issue, isn't it? So. Yeah. Okay, we'll take a shrimp free shot. Your... Which unit? The, the weakened one? The weakened one. Four. I've got an armour of four. Nothing. Now, uh, shame you couldn't have done that on my companions, Nothing. Wayne. Nothing. Uh, so that was insatiable. We, this might be folly. I doubt it. But we will activate this unit. To charge. To charge. So they'll go in with a fatigue. Yeah. Go on then. Okay. We'll... I don't think it's folly, Wayne. I think it's entirely wise. All in. Okay. 
Uh, I am armor three. But you got plus one because you are indeed javelin. Yep. You can't close ranks. No, I can't. So you go first. I'm going to do hunger for riches. Gain two attack dice or four attack dice if you're the attacker and your unit has no pillage marker. Which it doesn't. So four more attack dice, please. Got to, got to wipe this guy out. <laughs> you are, aren't you? Um, I'm going to pass. Not going to play your melee ability, no? All it does is remove the fatigue. Well, not, <laughs> not going to spend my fatigue? No, I'm going to leave it on there. Okay, I'll pass as well then. Go on then, Wayne. So you need four plus one. Oh, not many. Let's pick the bones out of that, shall we? It's enough though, isn't there, really? Ooh. Gone. Okay. Two on you, needing freeze. One hit. One to save. And you saved it. I do get an extra fatigue for the melee. And you get a pillage marker as well. Yes. Because you've won a melee. And activate. I can't activate those to shoot, can I? Because. Why not? The last activation was to shot. Can I do two javelin shots in a row? Yeah, yeah, as long as you pay for it. Okay. I'm going to activate them with a, a warrior activation okay. to shoot. At the unit of those. five. So. I'm going to play elusive. So uh, gain two bonus attack dice. Once this activation is resolved, you can activate your unit to move. Very nice. That's a shoot and scoot, isn't it? Yeah. That's, I tell you, that'd be good for Cav. I was going to intend to use it on the Cav until you uh, use that ability. Uh, just a three. You only need average. one. What? You only need one, don't you? Two. You so need. I'm hoping for one. Oh, two will be nice, though. Well, two. I'm a unit of five. So I lose two. So they lose their phalanx ability. Under dice. And another dice. Uh, so I do get a fatigue for that. So I can activate them to move. Do you wish to slow them down? No. Uh, I think we'll just come straight. Why are you going S? You can go M. Oh, I can go M, can't I? Yeah. I was going S because I thought I was going into the terrain. But I'm not. I will go in. Might as well come straight back. So I presume that gives them another fatigue. Yeah. If I had I played uh, with a rare, then it wouldn't have generated a fatigue. So the only other thing is manoeuvres. So come up a little bit. Yeah. So I'm not going to need that ability, am I? It was a waste. Uh, and how many shots have I got? These can't manoeuvre because they're in terrain. Your warlord has got his determination, you can still move him. He will move just because I know what you're like. You'll do a, lo a long bomb. What with? Uh, <laughs> the long bomb unit is gone. Go. The Hail Mary go. on turn yep. two. It will do. This game's nearly over, Wayne. Down to four dice already. Two common, two uncommon. Hmm. So I had a dice on Alexander's air. I converted one of my dice to a, a rare and put it on Strategos for uh, orders reaction. I'm going to use my Warlord, and he's going to activate these guys to move sideways, like this. And just in beside there. And I'm going to poke you. 
S, isn't it? What? S, isn't it? The distance. S is right, yeah. So how many do I poke you with? Ooh. I poke you no, with three. That's right, isn't it? No, no, so you, are quite, you are quite right. It is S, yes. So I'm going to poke you with three, which is just two dice. So you've got an armour of four, haven't you? I have two dice. I need fours. Do you wish to your, your ability? Uh, no. I've got nothing I want to pimp it with. So one hit. I'm going to shield because you know what I was trying to do. Saved it. Saved it. And that was my, with my Warlords We Obey, I should point that out. Yep. Now I'm going to use Hegemy. And this will be the first thing I do, and they're going to charge you here. Okay. And they can charge M actually, not S, so yeah. it's not a problem. I forgot about that. And that's uh, fatigue. It does generate a fatigue. It does generate a fatigue. Okay. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't because it's the first one. This one doesn't generate a fatigue. No, if you used a rare. I didn't use a rare, so it has a fatigue on so it. Has a fatigue. Learning. So, uh, which other two units are you going to activate? Oh yes, should have declared that. So, the elephant and the phalanx. Okay. Uh, I can't close ranks because I've got javelin, is that correct? Correct. I am armour three. With two fatigues. Your armor four with one fatigue. I've got fatigue as well. Yep. I'm going to use heavy armor with an uncommon. Uh, it gives me two defense dice and the Devite gives me two more, so I've got four. Four defense dice. Oh. I will spend your fatigue to put me up to a four. And I'll spend yours to a three. I will do protect the loot with a rare. So you re-roll ones and twos on your defense dice. We roll all and successful because defense it's a rare. dice. If, you have a, if your unit has a pillage marker, you can discard it. I will do so. So that comes off. If you do so, automatically cancel up to two casualties suffered by your unit after all defence rolls have been made. Wowza. I'll spend your fatigue. Drop you down to a two. Okay, so the fatigue is gone. Yeah, all gone. My pillage marker is gone. I haven't got, got anything no, on my board. So. I'm going to use the heavies, mm. so I remove the fatigue from my unit after the melee. Uh, well, it's not a rare. Uh, oh, sorry. Oh, no, that's fine. No, that's fine. Yeah, because you don't get resilience one. Yeah. So I need anything but a one, but you've got all these re rolls. I'm going to need them. No, and you get two automatic hits. Cancels, yeah. Anything but a one. Crikey. Ouch. I don't think so, Wayne. <laughs> Not with re rolls. Save three. Wow. Well, Reroll these four. So then save those. And then but but you discard those. So, those. So you don't get anything at all? No. Fantastic. Apart from the fatigue. Right, see if we can scratch you. Just the three. Oh, you save none, none of them. So I lose three. Three. <laughs> I don't get a fatigue for the melee. I do. But you haven't lost a figure yet, Wayne. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. It's going to be early night for the successors, I think. Just for the viewers, there's a lot of head shaking going on. <laughs> There is weeping. <laughs> oh man, I hate doing this. I'm going to go backwards. What? Well, I'll go forwards. What am I going to do? Heavy vehicle reversing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're going to go back. Like that. They're going to come backwards. 
trying to tempt me out on my I don't think so. I just survive a turn. My warlord's going to move out the way. And there's a little squishy unit in the middle for you. And that is all I've got, Wayne. I've got a, still got a dice and a half guard or hero. Mm. I'll leave it on there. All right. I think that's going to haunt me, that dice, for the rest of the, rest of the game. Nothing on my board. Uh, so two of each. Two okay. commons, two rares, two uncommons. Yeah. Right, Wayne's second turn. Wayne uh, ro uses his he's rare in his activation pool to roll two more dice. Mm -hmm. um, I also use Strategos and I got two more dice and placed them on the board, as you see. So I feel if you hear any weeping in the background, it's probably me. Okay. Am I going to kill a figure this game? So we're going to start with activating the levies to rest with a dice. Yep. Uh, then I'm going to activate them with a dice to shoot at these guys. At the unit of three? Yeah. I'm not going to put anything, I'm not going to pimp it. Are you going to uh, spend any dice? You've got six, haven't you? Mm. So you've got six dice. You've, you've passed, I've passed, roll the dice. Okay. Wow. Just the five. Just the five? Well, they've gone. Version one. Yeah, elephant get one. The, these don't. Another unit gone. Nice. I'm going to activate a warrior at this unit of warriors with um, a dice. What are they going to shoot or move? They're going to, re uh, to rest. They're going to rest. Fatigue. Okay. Then I'm going to do insatiable. Activate up to two units without pillage markers. It doesn't say what you can do, so you can do... Uh, to move. Uh, uh, so no, it just says to activate. Exactly, so, so you can do what you want, can't so you? So those and... Uh, do it with these. Okay. Uh, I'm going to activate them to move. Yep. To the terrain. Javelin. Then you're going to throw your javelins. Yeah, now do you want me to activate these guys first? No, throw the javelins. Throw the javelins yeah, first. Okay. I'm not sure about that rule to be honest, so you've got four or I'm not playing anything, are you? I'll play, I'll have a defence dice. I'm going to have a defence dice. <coughs> Off the, uh, my combat bonus. Uh, I'm not playing anything. I pass. Okay. Two. Nothing. Okay, so these They're going to march forward. These are javelin arms, aren't they? They are javers. So shoot. Do their free shot. Uh, I'm going to play elusive. Gain two bonus attack dice. Once his activation is resolved, you can move. So up to four. I'm going to spend heavy armor, so I get four defense dice. Two, four. Just the one. Every time I use it, you just roll one hit. You notice that? Um, awesome. Saved it. If I don't go all the way back, why would you? Then I can ensure that. What's, what's he moving at? M and S. Now he goes S and S. S and S. Yeah. 
Because he's heavy. I want, to be th- I want to be more than three away from him. My third turn. Four. Plus the one on your board. Which I'm yet to use. One common, two uncommon, one rare. Desperate, desperate times. Yet to kill anything away, and he's wiped out half my army, which is incredible. So I had a dice on Alexander's heirs. I took that off, and I changed one of my dice to a, believe it, a common, because I had an uncommon, which was painful to do. But I had no choice. So my warlord is going to rest the elephant. I'm now going to move the elephant once to there. I'm now going to move it again to there. Like that. Fatigue. I'm now going to use hegemony. I've cocked it You've up. got to get these out of the way, haven't you? Yeah, I know, exactly. And that's got to be the first activation. What, uh, well, you could still send him in, but he'd have an extra fatigue, wouldn't he? Well, they're going with two fatigues. Yeah. So they're going to go into the terrain, like that, for nothing. Because they, and this one's going to cost me a fatigue to go in. Yeah, and you can activate an additional unit. Because um, of your divisio. Now, I've got, um, I've got composite bow can I shoot my composite bow before I charge or not it's interesting that isn't it yeah. because is... you're sort of part way through this ability aren't yeah we? I don't think I can can I you can shoot it after the combat can't you yeah be nice to take a couple of okay two fatigues um, which, which is the other unit you're going to move Sorry? Which is the other unit? No, it was, it was those with that. It was with the, these guys here was one. Oh, there's three, isn't there? Yeah, because of your Divisio. Oh. It'll be the other unit of Phalanx that are okay. barely alive. I have an armour of five. I have two fatigues. Um, you've got an armour of four, three. Three. you still got a full strength unit, so you've got eight. Yeah. Um, I get four auto hits. Is it two or two for auto hits? What's my first of all? What's my? I think it's five. I, I think I get five. Your elephant is five in melee with an aggression of five. Um, I think I only get two because two it's auto hits. Unless you close ranks, then it goes I, up to four. I can't, can I? Because I've got javelins. But you've got an ability that will allow you to. Solid cover. Uh, Gives you the benefits of solid cover. Doesn't mean I've closed ranks, does it? Trampling, two, two automatic hits. So I've got two auto hits. <laughs> uh, so it's you to play. Oh, yep. I have nothing. I'll do protect the loot with a rare. Yeah, so you re-roll and take off two kills as well. Yeah. A solid cover, that means I'll be saving on... Four, five, six. I'm not going to play it. Why not? Because I'm want i going to try and kill the elephant. I need the attacks to kill the elephant, don't I? You don't lose attack dice though, do you? Discard half your attack dice. So it is effectively... See, I would question whether a solid cover would mean I could then um, get four auto hits instead of two. No, it's close ranks, if I've closed ranks. Right, do you want to touch my fatigues? Nope. I need to keep those on, don't I? So I need freeze. One, two, three, come on. Oh, full house. Ah. So you've got two extra auto hits. Oh, crikey. Save two, re-roll the others. Lose two. So, you haven't lost any, Wayne. You oh, saved all those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I cancelled two, don't I? Oh, skill. <laughs> right, can we inflict anything? Just a four. 
Just two to kill it. Danny kill goes. It. Danny goes. Uh, Ellie's gone. Bro broken friends. Yeah. What you're thinking of shooting, Wayne? Mad with pain. That's a shooting only. It's nothing to do with uh, melee. Teague for me. Oh, it's a bonus. This unit over here. <laughs> Go for it. Warlord activation. There. And that's, I've got a second activation actually. For, for what? With what? Oh, with the dice. And I'm going to spend it and I'm going to charge you here. It goes in with a fatigue. Fatigue for me. You got fatigue I as well. Fatigue. Eight. Uh, eight. Dice for you. I go first. I spend your dice. Increase my armor to a six. Uh, I can't do form ranks because that's defenders on foot. I'm going to leave your fatigue on you. So you pass in. That's it then. So I roll. Freeze needed. Ouch. Mm. Vapor as a unit here. Oh dear. Five. Five. Back on me. More critically. Let's see the sixes come out, Wayne. Put up a fight. Just the one. One to save. Don't save it. So I'll get a second fatigue. And a fatigue for the melee. Ooh. A bounce. Got one on the board. <laughs> one rare, three commons and an uncommon. No orders, no orders reaction. You didn't use the activation pool. So my warlord here is looking decidedly juicy. Insatiable. What does it say, Wayne? Activate up to two units without pillage markers. <coughs> okay, which are the two units? Gonna activate the levy. Yeah. And these javelin So they go. Oh. Okay, so you've activated the guys down here as well. So the levy are gonna shoot your warlord. Okay, they're all in range, aren't they? No. Most are, I'd say. So one, two, three, five dice. Armor of four. I have nothing to respond with. Uh, I haven't got anything I can play. Two. He's dead. Congrats, Wayne. Activate these to move. Uh, do you wish to slow them down? No. Let's see, they're going to move and shoot. Get them do their free shot. Okay. Four dice. I do have a fatigue if you wish to spend it. I have an armour of five. You have how many in your unit? Eight. You didn't lose any, did you? No. Uh, I will, only four because it's a match shot. I will spend your fatigue, pop them up to a six. And you're in cover, aren't you? Yeah. <sighs> Nothing. Ooh. My well, plan was to charge those with that, but then. Sorry? Plan was to charge a warlord with these, but they're not there anymore, so. Um, Uh, the warlord will tell these t guys to shoot. All in range. Yeah. You have a fatigue. You have no fatigue, do you? No fatigue. I will have after this shot. 
two. Oh, look at that. Saved them. That's it. That's it, okay. Stuffed. Stuffed. Okay, I'm gonna have a think. Okay, so I've licked my wounds. I've thought about it and uh, I have um, capitulated to Wayne. Here's his dead pile. I'll just show you. And here's mine, which is significantly more, including my warlord and my elephant as well, which should be in there as well, so yeah. It was game over. I only bugger dice left. Yeah. I, if I'm honest, I think um, I think I played it badly. I think I uh, I played Dom the other week, and uh, what I did to him, Wayne's just done to me <laughs> with the successors. He put some half a guard here, and I've done exactly the same. And uh, I didn't roll that well, but even so, I lost four half and guard cheaply. It was too too two, tempting. Why wouldn't you? I would do it. To, to uh, go it was for. just too tempting. I played that badly. Yeah. Um, also, with my elephant, it, because I had the elephantine armor, he only moves S plus S. So it's very slow. Um, also, with my phalanx, they move S and charge M. Um, it was always going to be hard and also this piece of terrain here is not good for phalanx as i found it in a game recently against alex when he sat a load of uh, persian archers in there and shot the crap out of me with that gatling gun ability he's got um sending the phalanx in there is not worth it the elephant was my intent was to send the elephant in into there but he, it, it never happened um, I did I did play it quite badly what did you think of this uh, successor abilities on the board um, okay so the successor abilities the divite I used two of the enhanced abilities through divite the heavy armor which I like but you can only use it once so it guarantees that you're not going to take any hits if you've got six defense dice and also hegemy i like as well um so you can move you, you can activate to charge for free if you use a rep and then here i cocked up towards the end of the game i had my elephant here and then i had to move them they got the free and of course the elephant ended with a second fatigue which was my error i didn't work it out but that's not a bad ability some of the other abilities less so i think the heavies top right um i don't know i, I think maybe it, some of the other abilities advanced abilities with legertum and hubris would be better with the with the with the would be better with the enhanced abilities but they are a little bit flat without them i liked again the top right um, this ability here um, Alexander's Air, well basically you can take one of your inactive dice and change the facing. I did that three times, twice, twice I did it, twice I did it and it gave me Strategos in my opponent's turn. But again, it means you, you change it to a rare, but you're using an existing dice that you've already rolled. So effectively it's costing you two dice. So it's a good ability, um, but not great. And all of these abilities, if you look on the successor board, Rare, 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 rare. Every single one of the advanced abilities has a rare dice on it. You can own, yes, you, you could put a number of dice up here on and change four for four and give you four rares, which is nice, but you've got to do something with the other dice to get them in place to, to make them worthwhile. So I don't know. I think it's situational. Don't know. Um, struggling a little bit with the, the successor board as you saw <laughs> but I, I really i really fucked it up to be fair <laughs> but there we go you, you were learning and that's that's what these games are about is learning about about them and with, without trying them I, I i wouldn't know was my build good bear in mind we were only playing a five point game could i have made my units have gone a unit of 10 and maybe i don't know Okay, so tell me about, let's, let's talk about the Thracians then. Let's talk about, yeah, it was so interesting. I, I went for quite a shooty build. You did, didn't you? Um, I just had the one unit with heavy weapons uh, because when looking at the board, there's only one uh, ability which really plays into the, uh, the heavy weapon and that only gives you three 
uh, extra attack. That's, that's Rumpfier in the top right, the advanced yeah, abilities. Yeah, for, for an uncommon or six for a rare. Yeah. So, whereas a lot of the other abilities I thought um, helped with shooting. Um, or indirectly, yeah. um, pimping up the shooting units when they receive a charge. Yes, yeah. Um, and there were four or five there. I mean, it, it almost screams play javelin arm, a javelin armed army, doesn't it? Yeah, and um, there's quite a few ways to activate your units without pillage markers. So, so uh, okay, so what did you think of the pillage markers? Did, were they much of a problem? No, they weren't a problem at all. I mean, one actually. thing you did forget was yeah. you, with your warlord, you can um, use your determination to remove a pillage mark instead of doing a wee bay. Yeah. And you did forget that once or twice, and you could have done that maybe here. You could have moved them over uh, here. And no, only this unit got a pillage marker because you get it from melee. You're only winning a melee as well. Yeah. You have to win a melee. So. So you only had one pillage mark in the entire game? Yeah, I think the heavy weapon teams were more likely to gain pillage markers. But yeah. um, I didn't find it a hindrance not having them. Yeah. It's not like the, um, the ghouls with the... the uh, uh, fur further. Fur further. The further. When you get free, all of a sudden you can't use advanced abilities until you drop your further. I thought there were a couple of really nice abilities. The protect the loot is good ability. Oh if, man, if, that's if an amazing can, ability, uh, isn't it? If you can get a rare. Reroll all your dice and take off two automatic hit, two automatic yeah. kills. That was, uh, that's a fantastic ability. That was a good one. Uh, elusive, extra uh, attack dice, and then the ability to move afterwards is nice. Yeah, yeah. It means you can move your javelins up and then take withdraw them. So, yeah, I caught, you know I thought the I think the board merits further investigation. So I mean, there are people saying it's a hard board to play, and it's. Um, I think against you, something like the Indians or the Persians, which have a lot of shooting, then so you, I think you'd be in trouble because the armour's so low. Yeah, and also it's javelin as well, isn't it? Yeah. And they're just going to shoot the bejesus out. They're going to sit off you and just... But against you know, something shoot. as pedestrian as my army, and bear in mind my elephant, um, it had the elephantine armour on it. Yeah. So, you know, he, was, he wasn't even moving particularly fast either. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I played it badly. <laughs> but you've got to try these boards, and if yeah. you don't try them, you, you don't know, do you? But um, there we go. Listen, mate. I thank Good you game. as always. Good game. Good game, and I, I will get my revenge from you, well, Mando. Yes. So remember, please uh, like and subscribe. Um, and if there's anything you particularly want to see on the channel, do let us know in the comments Yeah, absolutely. Below. I mean, we, we, as I say, we always try these new factions out. It's, it's very easy to, to always go with the Macedonians or the Persians with their Gatling gun or, the, you know, the uh, Indians with their bowling ball of a Raj on the elephant. But we, we're trying different things. So if you see anything, as Wayne just said, let us know. Thank you for viewing the game. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, yeah, very one-sided, and he did absolutely beast me, but a really good learning game, and good to see the factions as well. Anyway, take care, and see you all soon.